Have you ever wondered why you feel attracted to certain people and not others? What really goes on in our brains when we fall in love? These questions have puzzled humanity for centuries. We've all experienced the universal phenomenon of love and attraction. Yet it often seems shrouded in mystery, a complex maze of emotions and sensations that's hard to decipher. Many of us harbor misconceptions about this profound emotion. Some believe that love is purely a matter of the heart, while others argue that it's all about finding the perfect match. But is love merely a feeling or a well-matched partnership? Or is there more to this intricate puzzle? The answer lies within the realm of science. Love and attraction aren't just about sweet words and romantic gestures. They're deeply rooted in our biology, shaped by the intricate workings of our brains and bodies. As it turns out, there's a whole lot of science involved in who we fall for and why. The brain, our body's command center, plays a crucial role in the phenomenon of love and attraction. When we talk about love, we often discuss matters of the heart. But in reality, it's our brain that leads the charge. This powerful organ with its intricate network of neurons and synapses is a key player in the game of love and attraction. Among the various regions of the brain, two stand out when we talk about love, the amygdala and the hypothalamus. The amygdala, nestled deep within the brain's temporal lobe, is essentially our emotional processing center. It's the part of our brain that experiences the euphoria, the butterflies, the thrill that we associate with love. Then we have the hypothalamus, a small region located near the base of the brain. This little fellow is the hormone factory of the love process. It's responsible for releasing the neurotransmitters and hormones that make us feel attracted to someone. One of these hormones is oxytocin, often referred to as the love hormone. Oxytocin strengthens social bonds and deepens feelings of attachment. When you're falling in love, oxytocin floods your brain, creating an intense sense of connection with your beloved. Another key player is vasopressin. This hormone is closely tied to long-term commitment and monogamous relationships. It's like the glue that helps couples stick together. So the process of falling in love is not just about the heart fluttering or the stomach churning. It's about these regions of the brain humming with activity and hormones like oxytocin and vasopressin coursing through our system. But remember this, our understanding of love and the brain is still evolving. Science continues to unravel the complexities of this powerful emotion. And while we can identify some of the key players in the brain's love game, the full picture remains a mystery. So the next time you find yourself falling for someone, remember, your brain is as involved in the process as your heart. Moving beyond the brain, let's delve into the fascinating world of chemistry and its role in love and attraction. When we talk about the chemistry of love, we're not just speaking metaphorically. There are actual tangible chemical reactions happening within our bodies when we experience attraction and love. To start with, let's discuss pheromones. These are chemical signals that are released by an organism to communicate with others of the same species. In humans, pheromones can play a role in attraction, though the exact mechanisms are still a subject of ongoing research. Yet, there's evidence that suggests our bodies can produce and respond to these chemical signals, subtly influencing our feelings and behaviors towards others. Think about the last time you were drawn to someone, perhaps without even knowing why. While many factors could be at play, one potential explanation is pheromones. These invisible chemical messengers might have been whispering to your senses, suggesting a potential match. Next, let's consider the love cocktail. This is a mix of hormones and neurotransmitters that our bodies produce when we're in love. It includes dopamine, the reward hormone, which gives us a sense of pleasure and satisfaction. There's also oxytocin, often referred to as the cuddle hormone, which promotes bonding and attachment. And let's not forget adrenaline, which adds a dash of excitement and anxiety to the mix. These chemicals don't just float around aimlessly. They interact with our brain and body to create the sensations we associate with love. The racing heart, the butterflies in the stomach, the constant thoughts about the person we're attracted to. All these can be traced back to the chemistry of love. To sum it up, love is not just a poetic concept or a psychological phenomenon. It's also a chemical process involving a fascinating interplay of hormones, neurotransmitters, and possibly even pheromones. It's amazing, isn't it? Even something as complex as love can be broken down into a series of chemical reactions. Our minds play a significant role in who we fall in love with, and psychology has a lot to say about it. 
Yes, indeed, attraction goes beyond the physical and delves deep into the psychological. Let's take a moment to unravel these fascinating psychological aspects of attraction. Firstly, shared interests. It's no secret that we are drawn to people who enjoy the same things we do. This is because shared interests create a sense of familiarity, a common ground of sorts. It's like two pieces of a puzzle fitting perfectly together. When we share interests with someone, we perceive them as more similar to us. And this similarity breeds attraction. It's a comforting feeling to know that someone else shares your passion for antique coin collection or your love for Italian opera. Next, physical attractiveness. It might seem superficial, but it's a factor that can't be ignored. It's been scientifically proven that we are attracted to people who we perceive as physically attractive. But remember, beauty is subjective. And what one person finds attractive, another might not. This is where personal preferences come into play. So, while physical attractiveness does play a part in attraction, it is largely influenced by our individual tastes. Lastly, let's discuss the proximity effect. This is a psychological phenomenon where people tend to form strong relationships with those who are physically close to them. It's why friendships often form between neighbors, classmates, or co-workers. This is because repeated interactions with the same individuals can lead to an increased sense of familiarity and comfort, which can then evolve into attraction. All these factors, shared interests, physical attractiveness, and the proximity effect, intricately weave together to contribute to the feeling of love. They shape our preferences, influence our choices, and ultimately determine who we fall for. So while chemicals and brain activity play a part, our own personal preferences and experiences also have a significant impact on who we fall for. So next time you feel that flutter in your heart, remember, it's not just chemistry, it's also psychology at play. We've traveled through the brain, explored the chemistry lab of our bodies, and delved into the psychology that affects who we fall for. We began our journey with the brain, the master controller of our emotions, we discovered that love is not just a vague feeling, but a complex interplay of several areas of the brain working in unison. We learned about how the hypothalamus and the ventromedial prefrontal cortex, among others, play key roles in the sensation of love, releasing a cocktail of chemicals that make us feel euphoric, attached and attracted to a particular person. In the mysterious world of chemicals within our bodies, we found that love is a powerful concoction of hormones and neurotransmitters. Dopamine, the pleasure hormone, creates feelings of euphoria and reward when we're with the person we love. Oxytocin, also known as the love hormone, fosters bonding and attachment, and let's not forget adrenaline, which fuels the initial sparks of attraction, making our hearts race and palms sweat. Then we ventured into the realm of psychology, exploring how attraction is influenced by a myriad of factors. We learned about the importance of similarity and proximity in fostering attraction, as well as how the principles of the halo effect and reciprocity of liking can steer our romantic choices. But it's not just these individual elements that shape love. It's the intricate dance between them, the way they intertwine and interact, that truly makes love the captivating enigma that it is. The brain, the hormones, the psychological factors, they're all part of a larger, complex system that drives the human experience of love. So the next time you feel that familiar flutter in your heart, remember, it's not just love, it's science.